We know light illuminates and enables sight. When you're in darkness, you don't see clearly and you can stumble and fall. Where do you gravitate? You gravitate to the light because you'll be able to see the way. When I think about natural light, obviously I go to the sun and its role. The sun brings warmth to this planet. The sun brings life to this planet. Look at how plant life grows. The all stretched trees, plants will bend everything to the sun. We know, spiritually speaking, Christ is the light and the life of the world. It's not a light that is seen with the natural eyes, like we can see the sun. But it is light that is manifested in the impact it has in our lives. The power of the light and the life of the world exceeds that of the power of the sun on planet Earth. As powerful as that is, the impact of Christ and his light in our lives cannot be measured. In my life, I have seen light emanate into my soul from the scriptures. I have experienced light with my eyes closed on my knees in prayer, where my mind has been illuminated. As I've listened to a child speak, I've seen light being projected from countless people from around the world, all races, all creeds, all peoples, good people who want to be good and do good in their lives. In the scriptures, the Lord says, behold, hold up your light that it may shine forth unto the world. Behold, I am the light which you shall hold up, that which you have seen me do. So understanding that we hold up his light, yet it becomes a part of us. All we need to do is be us because it's a part of us. If we don't have to be someone else, we don't need to compare ourselves with someone else. Just be you and hold up the light that is in you, that he has placed in you. And when we hold that light, that impels us to do good, to uh, bless others, to lift others, to help others see the way. If I were to liken light shining through a crystal. Notice the crystal is not the source of light. A crystal allows light to pass through it and when it does it refracts and then you see the full spectrum of light. You'll see all these different colors as that full spectrum of light shines through. And so I hopefully can be a crystal. So interact with people, use social media 
as a prism through which his light could shine into the world. You have no idea how far that light will go. It'll go to one person, and then someone will like it, and they'll pass it on to another person, and one post can light up thousands of lives. There are a lot of people who are struggling to find their way, and there's a lot of voices that don't seem to be conversing with each other, more like they're shouting at each other. When you hold up the light, there'll be others who will go, it feels warm. It feels joyous. It feels good. And they'll start inching their way here, little there, little, closer to the light that you're holding up. take the time to look into someone's eyes, if we look for the light, we will likely see it and find it. And we'll feel a connection to a fellow child of God. So there's the spark of divinity in each of us. Like light shining through the crystal, we can then impact multiple people more than we will ever know. <laughs> <laughs>